Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But remember, you can always find us online at Tarpley music.com. So I'm really, really excited about the guitar today. I know I say that a lot, but hey, it's a really cool gig. So, but this one I'm really excited about. He's one of my favorite players. This is the limited edition Corey Wong Stratocaster. Now I've got a big list of guitar players like many of you do that either make me want to practice harder or sell all my crap. So he's kind of one of those guys, uh, but I, I just love him dearly. So you may have seen him a lot with a group called Fearless Flyers on YouTube as well as the Corey Wong band and it's played with everyone else and their dog. So this is a scaled down alder body and it has a satin lacquer which I instantly love. I love satin finish, so it doesn't get real, real glossy. Uh, and there's two new colors. This, of course, the surf green, and then there is a Daphne blue uh, as well. And so they're basically trying to recreate the look and feel of Corey's beloved first uh, original Strat. Uh, so it's slightly smaller than a typical Strat as far as body. But the scale length, which is from here uh, to from the saddle to the real bone and nut there, is still 25.5, so it's a still standard uh, Strat scale length even though it feels a little bit better you know, smaller there so here we go with the six saddle vintage style tremolo so it does have a tremolo i just don't have the bar in uh nickel chrome hardware this is a maple neck and there's your skunk stripe there uh it is a rosewood fretboard and it's actually a compound radius fretboard so the compound radius it starts from a 10 there which is really great for uh, chord structuring and stuff and then it, it goes into 14 so great for single note and solo playing and stuff like that up on the neck uh, rosewood fretboard and uh, of course it's really cool uh, perloid uh, just makes the surf green really, really stick out. So it's just uh, there's 22. These are medium jumbo frets and it's a modern D shaped neck. Incredibly, incredibly comfortable. I love this. There's some uh, nice locking tuners, of course, there just to why not, right? So really great parts, really great guitar. Feels really comfortable. It's not overly uh, heavy, but it has an alder weight to it. And so love this guitar. Now the electronics, the bridge pickup is a Seymour Duncan Clean Machine Custom Stack Plus, and then the neck and middle are Seymour Duncan Clean Machine single coils, and they are some bright, just bitey, great single coils, exactly what you would expect for a lot of the funk style playing and stuff that Corey does. And uh, now the volume has a treble bleed. Um, so what that means basically is I can back off a little bit of the volume, but the treble is going to still be there. The highs are still going uh, still going to come through. It's really important, especially in that kind of style of stuff there. And then this is the neck tone, and then this is the bridge tone. And if I push this, it bypasses the five-way switch, and it takes them right to position four, the loving sweet spot where Corey spends a lot of his time. So I think this is kind of like the home button for him, right? So no matter where he is, he can just hit that. It's going to take that off. It's instantly going to take him to his main tone. So it's really, really cool. So I'm excited about doing a lot of clean stuff with this. Uh, we're actually going through a Jackson Audio, uh, the Optimus, which is a Corey Wong pedal. So we're going to see what two Wongs make. And uh, I think it's going to make some really, really cool tone. And uh, we're just, of course, going through the deluxe reverb amp here. We are miking with a Sennheiser E906. So no tricks other than that. That's exactly what you're going to hear. And I'm going to have a lot of fun playing uh, through clean and dirty and some ridiculously dirty uh, here on the Corey Wong Strat.
It's almost like they're for the same player. All right, it was really fun listening to how great this guitar is on its own, but I really want to hear it in a mix with way too many tracks and really fast. All right, hit it, boys. First of all, I will say in all seriousness, if you're not familiar with Corey Wong, YouTube him, look him up, listen to him. He's such a great, funky guitar player. The way he just, um, he, his rhythmic ability, and he's just, he's great. He's really, really, really great to listen to. His, the music's really killer. I got a lot of it on Spotify. So that being said, regardless of guitar, go listen to Corey Wong stuff, and then you'll discover Mark Letary and a bunch of other guitar players who make me want to sell stuff. But uh, they actually make me want to practice a whole lot. They're very inspirational players, younger guys, too. So um, it's really it's so hard to say a takeaway because this is pretty similar to if someone said, hey, build a Strat for me, me personally, right? So uh, there's a little bit more of a, uh, a personal approach to this because it's literally designed kind of for my playing style for my hands as, as well. So I can't say enough for me to play it. But once again, 
everyone's hands and styles and taste and everything are so different. That's why there's so many great guitars out there. But if you are you really like uh, R&B and funk and a lot of that kind of style, and you do want to have something that's really versatile for all crazy chord jazz shapes as well as single note playing, you need to come check out uh, Corey Wong uh, Strat. And first of all, Surf Green Daphne Blue. <laughs> two, two of my favorite colors of all time. Uh, I've got several guitars of different types that are either a surf or a seafoam green. Uh, so I guess I'll have to get a Daphne Blue Corey Wong then, maybe. I don't know. Uh, hopefully I can. But anyway, so I hope you loved listening to the guitar. Obviously, I've had a blast with this thing. I had a lot of blast recording the uh, the in the mix for it. It's kind of where my heart and soul is a lot is in that kind of stuff. Um, so if you did, please like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. We are growing very well. We just want to grow more and be able to bring more to you. And so we do drop videos every single week. So if you would like to know as videos drop, you can just turn on notifications there and then we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.